Today we're going to be trying Tongan food for the first time. Ooh, I really don't know what to expect. <laughs> oh, we're eating horse. <gasps> I've never had horse before. Whoa. I'm getting like heat sweats. Malorele, kainga tonga, ko kingoa, ko iso, kavakimoto. I'd say Tongan's relationship with food is quite like intertwined. It's not really a Tongan gathering without food. You know, food kind of brings us together. I don't know much about the food. Seafood ingredients. Maybe, I don't know, am I right? I feel like there's gonna be a lot of root vegetables like taro. If it's anything like Samoan food, it's gonna be so good. Let's do it. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> There are different types of whaikakai. This whaikakai here looks like whaikakai dobai, which is like, kind of like doughboys. The thing that makes whaikakai is the coconut cream caramel. So good. So I'm looking at a meatball, right? I but thought it was savory. This is dessert. It's like a dippy dunk situation. Yeah, but is that a banana in the middle? I don't know, Clots, I haven't tried it yet. Oh, okay, well let's argue about it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh my god, it's so good. The sauce is lovely. It's really oh. sweet. So it gives it the little kick. Oh! Mm. I've got like a glutinous rice flour mm. texture. Like yeah. very chewy. The sauce is freaking delicious. I don't uh -huh. know what it is, but it's like super caramelly, mm. really thick. Oh! Just how I like it. it... This bitch. <laughs> What the? Mm. I feel like this would almost be perfect for like that 3 p.m. slump when you're like, I just want to get to the end of the day and I just need like a little more energy in me. Like this would give you that boost. And it's like full of carbs, so mm. it's gonna last you for the rest of the day. This is delicious. It has like all of my favorite things, coconut, mm -hmm. banana, whatever. And I like that you can control the sweetness. Exactly. It's perfect. Like, it's one of those um, not overpowering, mm -hmm. but very satisfying. Yum. So otaika is raw fish, raw fish fillet, some lemon, and then like usually like some veggies. And depending on your preference, coconut cream or heavy cream. And with chilies, oh, game over. Oh my God, yes! Potato salad? I think it's a seafood salad. Seafood salad? At first glance, this does look like a KFC coleslaw. <laughs> like, don't you reckon? No, this looks way better than KFC coleslaw. What it are you talking better. about? It's chunkier, yes. for one thing. Oh, definitely <laughs> chunkier. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Can I eat it? You liking it? This is fucking amazing. Holy shit. Oh, and close? Oh my god, yum! How do you feel about it? That's fucking spicy, bro. It's really it spicy. See, they got the chili in there? Mmm! Tongans and chili is like, it's weird. You know, my dad would tell me stories back in the day of, of oldies, like just planting chili as part of their crops. And then they'd just sit down and eat the chilies like raw. You can't see chili anywhere. So no. it, it kind of pops out of nowhere. This is the perfect level of spice. It's like just enough to kind of burn the back of your throat. The kind of spice that makes you salivate a lot, but like you're not yeah, dying. Fire. It's probably not common in Australia to come across a dish that is centered around fish swimming in a sauce and served raw. This is taking it to its roots. Mm. And like you can really appreciate the fish as the hero. It's not being masked by anything else. It's delicious and I love it. I can't feel my mouth. <laughs> Loi feke, which feke is octopus. Ufi is yam, the giant yams that we have in Tonga. Anytime you hear the word loi in front of it, think crap load of coconut cream. What? This one has a really Whoa. strong smell. Is this also spicy? What is this? This is cake. <laughs> she did not say it's this cake. Your first time. Their first time. A yam. A yam. It's octopus. Oh! oh! I love octopus. I don't eat them because yeah. it's against my moral code. But I will eat around the octopus. Whoa. I don't know if I have octopus in here. The sauce is so good. Those chunky bits are all octopus. Oh, are they? Okay. Yeah. Just, I was looking for tentacles. Sorry. Your yeah. sauce is quite brown in colour. And Probably. it has like a super rich depth to it. Mm. Like, quite a complex dish. It is. Oh, so the brown is like kind of the octopus, like sometimes it ends up looking a bit purplish. 
I don't know if there's actually excess from the other one on my fork. The oh. octopus was really good, it was super tender. But I think it's spicy. Is it spicy? Mm. Showing your uh, your Caucasian. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I'm so sorry. I wish I was better. The yam, because it's like a 10% out of 100 on the flavor scale, mm. it really like pulls all the flavor back because um, this is super potent and strong. You're brave and you're not scared of fire in your mouth. It's yeah. literally not spicy. It's so spicy. <laughs> So, super sipi and manioke. So, super, the transliteration of soup. And sipi, transliteration of sheep. And manioke, uh, tapioca, cassava. We borrowed it from our South American cousins. It's top tier comfort food, okay? Top tier Tongan comfort food at its best. Ooh. Ooh. There's a lot of stews. That's mm. what I'm realizing. And a lot of like accompaniment with like a root vegetable. Yeah. Cassava, that's similar to like a plantain banana. Plantain. No, 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 no. No, cassava is not similar to a plantain banana. <laughs> I'm starting to think that they cook their root vegetables in coconut milk mm. because they all have a scent of coconut like underlying or through it. Mm. It sticks to your mouth. Yeah, for anyone out there who regularly eats parsnips, that's what this root vegetable is like. I have a bone in my mouth. Sorry guys, not sexy. Mmm, this is familiar. It's kind of like a casserole, the thick sauce which coats the meat, the meat is cooked to tender and it's got soft veggies. Mm. It's a soup! <laughs> that's all it is! You're overcomplicating it! That's yum. If you like lamb. Mm. And it's vibe. cooked so fucking beautifully. Yeah, it is. Otai is the quintessential Tongan summer drink. I would like to say Otai is like an orgy of fruits. In my opinion, if I haven't had a cup of Otai during summer, I didn't have a summer. Oh, yeah. Oh my God. It, it smells like a mango boost juice. <laughs> <laughs> It smells so good. But it's chunky. Chunky. There's chunky bits in it. <laughs> oh, what is in this, Thomas? As anyone might find out. Mmm. It's crunchy and crispy. Oh, yum. That's fresh. Mm. What's the white stuff? I don't know. Okay. Sure, it's delicious. The white stuff is coconut. I like chewing while I drink something. Get bubble tea and you get like tapioca and like you chew. Yeah. It's got that sort of thing, but it's crunchy. I actually really like it, it's so refreshing. Yeah. The apple, like that's all shredded up inside, is so good. I want to drink it every single day of summer mm. and eat it every day of summer because it's, you can eat it. Yeah, you just enjoy it sitting next to the pool. Like I said before, lottie, coconut cream, horsey, horse. We, we tend to only do that with horse meat because horse meat is very lean. Is this like a shredded beef situation? Okay, oh. I know what I'm smelling. <laughs> It's coconut. Oh, that loy horsey looks so good right now. I don't even want to look at it. Uh, do you reckon it's boar? As in the meat? Yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> it's a type of meat that you probably <clears throat> haven't had many times. It better not be kangaroo. Okay. A cat. As long as it's not like dog. There you go. Hmm. Oh, I want this piece of chili. What? There's chili in it. Don't eat the chili. It's delicious. Um, so that is uh, loy hossi. Mm. Um, Are you gonna say horse meat? So this is horse meat, yeah. That makes me sad. If you're asking, ooh, why do these Tongans eat horse? Why do French people eat frogs? I hope the horse uh, led a good life. I didn't know we could legally eat horse meat in Australia. Hopefully it's just legal. I don't have <laughs> Tom, I like you, Tom. How good? How good? You're invited to the guy bowler. It tastes like beef. And then the sauce is beautiful. Mm. I'm grateful that the chili was not on the bit that I ate. I'm grateful that the chili was on the bit that I ate. Okay, I imagine it adds like a nice little kick mm -hmm. that I could never handle. It does taste like pork to me. Yeah, if you said that to me, this was pulled pork, I'd be like, yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm just sad that it's horse meat, but that's just personal. Why? Why do you care about horses? Horses are so cute. 
Aren't cows cute? The reason, yes. Only when they're blow dried. This dish actually is probably one of the best ones. Like the flavors are just really unique and different to what normally I would eat. Huge shout out to Val Pakala for providing us with all of the delicious Tongan food today. And if you want to get a taste yourself, check out the links below. Glad that they enjoyed it and the food looked like top tier. If you're willing to try Tongan food, eat it, but on a cheat day. Okay? Tom, why did you why did you put cottage cheese in a drink? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to gross out, of course. <laughs> Come on, Colette. Tom, why would you do that? <laughs>